the movie review for Christians about the film called Skyscraper, which includes uh, The Rock, Wayne The Rock Johnson, and uh, that's the main star of it, of the whole film, former big time wrestler, muscle man, he's really pretty good in movies I've seen before, but this one, I don't know, it just, uh, it didn't come alive that well to me. The the, uh, the plot was unique, interesting, you know, about this new age skyscraper taller than any other in the world, even like several times taller, called the Pearl. And it's basically a, a, a vertical city. It's just got everything, even like a park like a central park inside the uh, skyscraper, halfway up. But it's in Hong Kong, or I think it was Hong Kong, and owned by an Asian billionaire. And so Dwayne is hired to do security, the security clearance for them, you know, before the, the final open, the residential part. And it turns out he's been. Uh, hired by his friend, so-called friend, friend in parentheses, who they worked, they had worked together as cops or uh, SWAT previously, which is, in which Dwayne The Rock lost his leg because of a hand grenade in one of the rescues they were attempting. So. hired by this guy who he thinks is his friend, but the friend is actually a traitor and is helping a sinister mafia type group to sabotage the Pearl because of something the owner of the Pearl did um, which isn't really important to my review for Christians anyways they're trying to get something back from him the owner uh, and also basically burn down the uh, the pearl but it's got such an incredible security uh, system that takes a lot of a lot of work and intricacy to make it happen anyways the film gets right into it it doesn't take long before they're they're uh, battling to try to stop the bad guys and rescue uh, the Rock's family, who was living halfway up while the Rock was doing the security clearance, security assessment, I guess you could say. So, anyways, for Christians, what do you say? I mean, this is an action-packed movie. The Rock has to try to rescue his family. In a heroic way, has to get up to the middle of the skyscraper from outside without, uh, you know, you can't go up the elevator or stairs because it's all on fire. So, he gets to work doing what he can. And I was thinking as I'm watching, you know, a lot of bravery, courage, what you know, classical courage, classical bravery. The kind we're all like, oh wow, that's incredible. So strong, so brave, so valiant. And that all seems like you know, really noble, and it is in general. But I mean, it's good to protect your family, obviously, and good to try to stop the bad guys. But for Christians, more importantly than than that is, is that we convert the bad guy, the so-called bad guys. A lot of times, the, the it, when we divide between the so-called good guys versus the, the, the bad guys, see, just by creating good guys, you know, like police and law and things like that, 
That's a that's sort of an artificial artificial creation. They're the good guys because they have the uniform and the the badge and the gun and supposedly are obeying all the laws. But you know, we all know they don't all always obey all the laws. The police. Nonetheless, they have to. The lore builds up. You, you know, the uniform of the police has such a psychological um, influence on people is that not only do people start to believe they're the good guys, but the police themselves start to think that they're the good guys. They're good just because they're they're better they're better persons, better people. I'm not saying this happens in every case, but it does ha happen sometimes. Psychologically, it happens, and we know jurors are more likely to uh, find in favor of police just because of the effect of the psychological effect of the uniform. They just can't get past that. You know, they're the good guys. And so that means there has to be bad guys, and that's the problem. Is that, and that's the problem. That Jesus foresaw. He he knew. I mean, even think about the Pharisees. They had all the. They were obedient to all the many laws of Judaism, or tried to be. Not really. They weren't. They weren't, of course. But they tried to be, or pretended to be, or purported to be. While others who didn't obey the system, or weren't part of the system, were considered of lower value, or even you know. If they're breaking certain laws intentionally, then they're criminals. And so the thing, same thing goes, you know, I mean, I'm not dismissing that we should have law enforcement and that some criminals are not bad guys. There are bad guys doing, doing bad crimes. We all know that. That's, I'm not Pollyannish. But sometimes the law creates bad guys um, and so we need to uh, you know as much as we like to have movies where there's the good guys and the bad guys especially the older western type films you know always the, the good guys versus the bad guys the good cops bad cops bank robbers cowboys Indians things like that uh, we need to uh, try to get beyond that as Christians and be a little more mature than that yeah, enjoy the film. It's a nice release, relief and release, and uh, gives you a little inspiration, maybe. But really, we should be thinking not so much as trying to bust the bad guys as much as con convert the bad, the so-called bad guys, into uh, the Christian faith and let them know about grace mercy, salvation, eternal life. That's our privilege and our obligation as Christians, fulfilling the Great Commission. So let's focus on that, even though we might enjoy such a movie such as this from time to time. God be with you all and bless you.